Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Virgo, um, some of you, okay, um, you're doing very well. You're the privileged lady. You could be married. If you're not married, um, you just do very well for yourself. Okay. Uh, you look good, smell good. You, um, get things done. You could have a lot of honor in what you do and how you do it. You could be getting a promotion, um, some public rec recognition, uh, for what you do or how you do it. Um, you're super independent lady. And that's what we see here, okay? This is a super independent lady. You just get stuff done. You could be a girl boss. You could have your own business. The flip side of all of that, which is, is great, congratulations to whoever that resonates for, is some of you have children. And with all of these accolades in your career um, sector and you making strides in your career, maybe child rearing and parenting um, is falling by the wayside because these cards wanted to come out. You got some unruly ass children, okay? Um, they're uncaring, they're disobedient, they're bad, some of them, and, and they're loud, you know? Um, you just aren't there to rear them because you're so busy. And what I don't see is a masculine partner. So maybe uh, the father, a father figure could be absent. Therefore, you're carrying all the burden of raising your children. Uh, and this could also be someone around you. It could be your daughter. It could be a cousin. Or you're seeing this happen, um, you know, close to you, to someone close to you. There could be some neglectful parenting. You know, um, you know, this says, oh, my God, where are the kids? You know, um, you're so busy keeping things together, being the super independent woman um, that, you know, child rearing has taken a back seat. Some of you need to look into you know, obedience school, um, nannies who help with child rearing, um, uh, father, sister, cousin, brother, whomever who can help you. Because, you know, if you have unruly children, they're going to turn into unruly adults. And we don't want that, right? Um, but, you know, that that's an easy fix. You can fix that. Some of you, um, you got caught up in some love affair with the lover's card coming here, coming out here. And, um, this person had no intentions for you or for the relationship. He was like, I made you fall in love with me because it was fun. You know, sorry. Um, the sex was good. It was fun. You took trips. Uh, you were a choice. You were the better choice of another at the time. Um, it just really never manifested into a full on relationship. And it also never manifested into that because someone cannot maintain a relationship, either you or another person, Virgo. Um, something here was for the short term. It was to come into your life to show you what you don't want, what you don't deserve, and what you should walk away from. Uh, maybe even teach you a lesson here. There could be an unexpected message that comes into you. It could be good news, uh, news you're waiting for. Um, so that's always good. Let's see if we can gather anything else. All right. Family. Yeah. Maybe the, in the family dynamic, there's something missing. He could be missing here. Um, somebody has to do it all by themselves. Someone wanted a family, uh, but it could be broken at this point. Wow. Yeah. A triangle. Definitely somebody, um, there's a third party. There's a wrench being thrown into the family dynamic, um, with this person that made you fall in love with them. They had other options. You were the better option at the time. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Or this is you, Virgo. It always could be vice versa. Yeah, there's some man who's still out here courting people, courting you, courting other people, or they courted you just to make you fall in love with them, but they had no intention for the relationship. It was just, yeah, they could already be in a marriage, in a union. Um, they're not available. They're closed off. They're emotionally unavailable, okay? Um, what they had to give you was fun time, sex, and, you know, rock and roll. If this resonates for you, Virgo, go over to the website. Book your own reading there to pull your own energy. Get any reading at the website level or ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can always donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you.